This is the BMW i8, and it is by far the craziest, most futuristic looking car on the road, even nine years after it first came out. With the exception of the infotainment functionality, this car is not aged at all. It still has the same wow factor it had when it was brand new. There's nothing out there that looks anything like it, and it cannot be mistaken. This car wasn't widely purchased either. Production of the i8 began in 2014, and the last one rolled off the production line on June 11th, 2020. In its six-year run, BMW only sold 20,465 units, so they're few and far between. So this plug-in hybrid mid-engine sports car is truly a work of art, and today we're gonna take a closer look at the features of its design and everything on the interior. Before this review begins, I want to give a big thank you and shout out to Vantage Auto in Moonaki, New Jersey for allowing me to come out and review this BMW i8, which is currently for sale, so stay tuned till the end for more info on that. So let's get into the design. This has to be my favorite two-door coupe design ever. Starting at the grill, there really is no grill here. This is completely solid without any slats or venting. The outline of the signature BMW kidney grille is there with the blue accent inserts that are found on BMW i vehicles. The inside part of the grille is painted black and there's a forward facing camera right in the middle. Throughout this video, remember that this car is nine years old. This car has a lot of features we really didn't see back then, including a forward facing camera. Now it's hard to tell against this dark gray paint, but the car is two-toned in several areas on the bodywork, and this lower part of the bumper is actually painted black like the grille. Coming up to the hood, the two-tone colorway continues at the top surrounding this massive vent. Now there's no engine under this vent, but there is an electric motor that I assume would need some sort of cooling when it heats up, and since there's no real grille in the front, the hood is the only other place for it. The car comes with standard LED headlights and daytime running lights. Turning to the side profile, the car's most notable feature is the butterfly doors. And the doors open upwards via hydraulics and the handle is hidden away in the little cutout at the edge here. Along the bottom, there's a cutout that bears another BMW i blue accent. There's lots of cutouts all over the exterior. And the coolest one is this one over the rear wheels where there's a channel running between the quarter panel and the roof line. And you see it very well from the rear. This car was designed with a heavy emphasis on aerodynamics this has contributed to the i8's very slick 0.26 coefficient of drag. On the left side at the front is the port to plug in the charger and the fuel door is on the right. Taking a look at the wheels, this is a 15 spoke 20 inch wheel that's very sleek and has a cool pentagon outline around the lug nuts. This is riding on Michelin Pilot Sport tires that are 215.45 in the front and 245.40 in the rear. Turning to the rear, the two-tone continues with the majority of the back being black, except the bumper piece at the bottom. The taillights have a handlebar shape to them and they match the daytime running lights in the front. The air channels running along the side rear mold to the shape of the lights and have a very dramatic effect. And the blue accent is present here again, separating the black and gray paint. Opening the trunk, there's a very small 5.4 cubic feet of storage space, and that's because behind this cover is the 1.5 liter turbocharged three-cylinder engine. And here's the charger that can fully charge the battery in three and a half hours from a 120 volt power source. Now, unfortunately, I do not have an engine to show you, and that's because the engine can only be accessed by a service technician with the right equipment to remove the cover. But let's talk power figures. The 1.5 liter engine is paired with an electric motor up front, producing a combined 357 horsepower and 420 pound-feet of torque. The i8 does 0 to 60 in 4 seconds, top speed is 155 miles per hour, and the engine is paired to a 6-speed automatic transmission. Combined fuel economy from the motor and engine averages equivalent to 76 miles per gallon, and the capacity of the fuel tank is 11.1 .1 gallons. Now in pop culture, things will often gain a reputation from a significant event that occurs, whether it's good or bad. And unfortunately for this car, it became notorious in 2018 after rapper XXXTentacion was murdered inside his BMW i8 during a robbery. But an even more interesting fact about X and his i8 is that chime you hear when you start the car. He sampled that sound in his song Sad, and immediately following his death, the song shot up to number one on the Billboard Hot 100. And since then, that i8 chime has gone 10 times platinum. Now after opening the butterfly doors, you step into a very futuristic cabin. Sitting in here just has a vibe unlike any other. 
And once again, I'll remind you that this car is nine years old. Let's talk about tech first. My only complaint about this whole car is that it doesn't have Apple CarPlay, and it's not even a valid complaint because Apple CarPlay only came out around the same time as this car did, and it only came out on one car, and that was the Ferrari FF. But because this car looks so much newer than nine years old, it just feels like it should have it. But what it does have is a very clear looking navigation system on this 8.8 .8 inch screen, controlled by this dial down below here, a nice big digital gauge cluster, an 11 speaker, Harman Kardon sound system, and a CD player. The climate controls are normal, easy to use buttons. The air vent setup is interesting. There's one on the driver's side, a giant one in the middle, and then the passenger has two side by side. All the touch surfaces in the car are a nice leather, including the dashboard and door panels, along the steering wheel and the shift knob. Both front seats are powered and heated, along with memory settings for the driver. The door handle is a button located at the top of the grab handle. My favorite part about this interior has to be this blue ambient lighting. It really makes the car feel like a spaceship, and the blue seat belts look great with it. Now the interior's one downfall is space, but this car isn't meant to be spacious. The storage space is really just the glove box, the center console really doesn't have much space, and let's just ignore the back seat, because nobody buys this car for the back seat. And if you think I'm gonna climb back there, <laughs> yeah right. You can use it for additional storage space though. Now this is going to conclude my review of the 2014 BMW i8 in the Terra World trim. This car is currently listed for sale at Vantage Auto, and there will be a link to the listing in the description. This car is pristine with under 27,000 miles, so this is truly a rare find. And I want to give a big shout out to Andrew and Jordan and everyone at Vantage Auto for giving me access to this i8. I had a lot of fun checking out this dealership. It's a really cool place and the inventory they have is awesome. They have lots of exotics and classics and luxury cars, but also plenty of regular everyday cars too. If you're in Northern New Jersey or in the New York metro area, come check it out. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and tell me your thoughts on the i8 down in the comments. And subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to see more reviews like this. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later.